in fact, on the standard Canadian diet that I was eating, I had no problem eating a chocolate bar, eating cookies, eating chips, eat like I was eating stuff that had preservatives in it. I was eating stuff that had glyphosate in it. What do you think of drinking plain carbonated water for refreshment? I like club soda because it has no sugar, but some minerals are added for good taste. I think it's a perfect for fasting. I would say that I don't have a problem with carbonated water. For a long time, I was actually making my own carbonated water. It's important for us to be as close to natural as possible. So we, we start a healthy lifestyle. And then we became become afraid of eating this and eating that. But can I just point out that on the standard American diet, standard Canadian or Caribbean diet, we were not afraid of any. We were eating garbage regularly and not afraid. But then somehow on, on a healthy keto diet, now we're afraid of everything. And I think it's because when we try to do healthy things and then we get pushback or pull from our family, and friends because they don't understand how we're eating, we start questioning what we're doing. But in fact, on the standard Canadian diet that I was eating, the standard Caribbean diet that I was eating, I had no problem eating a chocolate bar, eating cookies, eating chips. Eat, like I was eating stuff that had preservatives in it. I was eating stuff that had, a, un, unbeknownst to me, glyphosate in it. I was eating stuff that had all kind of chemicals and colorings. And so, one of the things I want you to think about wellness warriors is that if on the standard diet, I was not afraid, but now I'm eating a healthy diet. And every one of these things, by the way, that they're so scaring us. Oh my God, be careful of this. Holy cow. Be careful of that. If you eat a regular chocolate bar, it's in there. If you eat regular cookies, it's in there. So just being, just trying to put some perspective on this, we're being frightened by certain entities to not have these things because our health, our health, our health. But flip side of the coin is that when we were eating standard diets, we were eating worse than that and nobody was saying anything. Our weight was rising. Medically, we weren't doing well. Our skin was horrible. We were tired all the time. Is it possible that maybe we need to be more um, like ourselves? Each individual needs to look at what we're eating and as long as it's as close to natural state as possible before I cook it, we need to let ourselves look at that and be okay with that. Adding carbonation to water, I think adding carbonation to water is much better than adding artificial sweeteners to water. And a lot of flavored waters, unfortunately, have artificial sweeteners. So if I had to choose between a flavored water with artificial sweeteners or just carbonated, 100% carbonated water. If I had to choose between any of those two and just pure water, I'm going with the water from my Berkey. And the reason that I'm, I I like my Berkey is because it takes out some of the chlorine and some of the fluoride that's in the water. We don't need that for our body to perform. Well. And as a matter of fact, chlorine and fluoride, if I understood well, are anti, like to, to, to kill bacteria, right? In, in the water. Which makes sense. Again, we don't want to be drinking bacteria that's not healthy for human consumption. But then are those fluorides and chlorides in our body affecting our bacteria that's healthy for us? Like, again, as close to natural as we can get, the better.